factory that produces pistons for cars, Machine One produced 728 satisfactory pistons and 182 unsatisfactory pistons today. Machine Two produced 738 satisfactory pistons and 162 unsatisfactory pistons today. Suppose that one piston from Machine One and one piston from machine two are chosen at random from today's batch. What is the probability that the piston chosen from machine one is unsatisfactory and the piston chosen from machine two is satisfactory? What's the probability of machine one piston is unsatisfactory and machine two is unsatisfactory. Okay, one of the first things that we should do here is to add up the satisfactory and the unsatisfactory pistons. So we have 128 pistons, I mean 728 pistons that were satisfactory and 182 pistons that were unsatisfactory that was produced by machine one today. Once we add these two figures up, then we come up with the 910 possible ways. Okay, the top number is 182, and that is the number of unsatisfactory pistons. So what we do is we will divide 182, let's say 182, divided by 910 and that will give us 0.2 okay and that's for um, machine one okay now we have to do the same thing for machine two okay so we will have to find out what is the total number of pistons satisfactory and unsatisfactory so we see here machine two produced 738 satisfactory and 162 satisfactory. Okay, so we when we add these two numbers together, we get a total of 900. And then we're going to, so 900 is going to be our bottom number and our top number will be the number of satisfactory pistons. The number of satisfactory pistons is 738. So for machine two, we will say, let's see, machine two, we'll say 738, because that's the total number of satisfactory. Remember machine two, we're concerned with the satisfactory um, pistons. Machine one, there was more concerned with the unsatisfactory. So for the top number for machine two, we're going to put 738 because that is the satisfactory number. And the total number of pistons made um, by machine two came up to be 900. Okay, once we divide that together, we come up with 0.82. Okay, so next, the next thing we have to do is multiply the probabilities. So we have um, machine A, I mean machine one, I'm sorry, with a probability of 0.2. And then we have machine B, I'm sorry, machine two with a probability of eight. 0.82 okay so the next thing we will have to do is just multiply these out we'll say 0.2 times 0.82 and that will give us a probability of 1 6 Four. So that's how you would work that problem out.